broadcasting from the business capital of the world. This is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are so excited to have Dr. Michelle Mandy joining us here today. Excited to talk about her work as a life coach at Nurses Recommend and Coaching from San Antonio, Texas. Welcome back today. How are you? Hello. Um, pleasure to have you here. Let me just first start off by saying uh, welcome back. And for those new time listeners today, tell us a little bit about the work you're doing today with your company. Okay. So the work we're doing when I talk about nurses recommend and coaching, when talking about recommending, that's where we advise or support people with their health care by adding a voice, whereas we represent a person interest in their health care. You know, it's almost like a lawyer who represents a client in courtroom, but we represent the patient in a doctor's office. And when we talk about coaching, it's like client, we do client-centered coaching, we do collaborative intervention with the main goal of assisting others in making long-term lifestyle changes. The client who is seen as the expert in his or her own life choose a goal and then our coaches will help bring the specific skills and experience to help them through the process of transformation. Ah, beautiful. And how can we reach out to you? Just through the phone number. Sure. 623 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 401 Another number. Beautiful. Now, let me also ask a little bit of your background. It's important that people get to know that you have over 25 plus years in experience of serving the citizens of our country as a registered nurse, both in the civilian and military communities. Could you share a little bit about that? Yes. Yes, I'm a retired Air Force nurse who also decided to become skilled in life coaching and education. During my time of service, I have traveled around the world, been to Japan, um, Turkey. So I've learned from many different cultures. And by being a veteran, I am very familiar with the military community. And also in nursing, I am very with the healthcare community. I have published some I've been a published author, and I just enjoy helping people right now. That's where I'm at. Well, let me ask you this. Now, I know all this accumulated nursing background really has allowed you to help with trauma, with emergency, critical care. I mean, you've done so much, and you really know uh, about managing personnel, preparing budgets, policy writing, research. There's a lot that you do. So here you are now. By the way, where are you from originally? And I know now you're based out of San Antonio. So are you working with people all over the country, or is it uh, just in... Go ahead. Yes, well, I'm working with people all over the country. Right now, I'm in Detroit, Michigan, as we speak, at a leadership conference. And this is actually where I'm from. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. So this conference is leadership with nurses from all across the United States. Amazing. Well, let's talk. So, therefore, I do. So I I see in regards to coaching everyone because we can do it um, virtually, or if they're in San Antonio, they can come to my office. And also, we have another office in Phoenix, Arizona, where where my daughter is there, and she also does actually mental health therapy. Where she does medical medication management, psychiatric evaluations, ketamine infusions, wellness IV infusions. She does the whole whole gamut, whole team. That's what you can get in the Phoenix, well, actually anywhere in Arizona. So if you're in Arizona, you can reach her. Amazing. All right, so let's talk. Tell me about what you're doing currently right now at this uh, seminar. Tell us about it. And I want to go over the types of things that you're working with. And you're being hired by companies, corporations, by hospitals, doctor's office, and also one-on-ones? Oh, yes. I do ones and by different doctor's offices where I went in and I... Because I do presentations and specialists where I incorporate a lot of coaching concepts. 
I, I was hired by San Antonio Community College for all the nursing faculty to provide a, a full-day workshop. I was hi- hired by the YMCA to do an all-day workshop with their leader. So, yes, it, it, and then I do one-on-one. So if people want the one-on-one service of coaching, I do that as well. And right here with this leadership conference, it's nurses from everywhere. And what we're doing is that we're learning other ways. Well, now, let me ask you this. Let's go over some of the things that you're teaching them and how the process works to work with you. So when I'm teaching them, I'm teaching them things on how to change the behavior in their life. A lot of times people, they get to a point where they feel like they're just stuck and they just find themselves searching for direction and motivation for a path of their life. So we help them get unstuck. A lot of times they don't know. One of the questions I always ask, what it is that you want to do now? And so many people say, I don't know. But my question is, if you don't know, who does know? So really, they do know. It just has got to be brought up to the conscious level. And once it's brought up to the conscious level, it helps them move. So that's how we do for the coaching. But then for when we do the... Um, the healthcare advocacy, what we do is that we will go in the office with, like, a patient and be there as their advocate while they're talking to the doctor. So we can help them understand what the doctor is saying and then also advocate for that person, like, whatever questions that they had that they want the doctor to know. And they come out with a better understanding, which provides better quality care. It's just as simple as that. It's just we go in by a phone call. That's why this can be done across the United States. Well, let me ask you how things have changed since, like, the pandemic with nursing. I mean, the burnout, the overworking. I mean, there's a lot more responsibility that nurses, especially as RNs, are taking over now, right? I mean, you know, you have doctors, you have physician assistants, but you all do a lot. Exactly. We do do a lot. And we do ever. I mean, we're, we're there. We're, we're the person. A doctor comes in and see you, but we're the one that's there with you at all times. So that's why a lot of us are burning out. And if we burn it out, there's no one to help us. So after the pandemic, you have got nurses who are burning out. They're stressed, and they have no place to go and talk about their feelings. All we do is just keep working and working. We care for others, but we don't care for ourselves. And I'm advocating with the nurses here in this leadership conference is that we must do more for the nurses. We must take an active role to say that they help and some hospitals now, like Children's Hospital in Austin, where my nephew, one of the vice presidents, have hired a company just to do coaching for that entire hospital. Right. So that's well, also what we need everywhere. Oh. Got it. Okay. Just want to point out if we want to reach out to you, would you mind sharing how we could do so? And then what we'll do, we'll take our quick uh, commercial break here. So tell us, um, I think you're on LinkedIn. You don't have a website, right? But you know you have the phone number. So share that with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The phone number. What we do have the Own Your Own Path Wellness website. Okay. Own Your Own Path Wellness website. Beautiful. Up and running. Okay. Our phone number is. 623-401-5030. 623-401-5030. We'll get you to the Phoenix. And 210-880-1290. We'll get you to San Antonio. Yay. So reach out to us those ways. Okay. All right. Perfect, everyone. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more after this quick break. Don't go anywhere. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. Uh, dashboard light problems? We can help. Our free fix finder service can read your check engine light, ABS light, and service indicator light, and give you possible solutions, verified by licensed technicians. You'll even get detailed results sent straight to your email so you have them when you need it most. It's the most complete free warning light report backed by technician verified fixes. The free fix finder service, only at AutoZone. Get in the zone, AutoZone. More details at AutoZone.com. If you are the new parent of a baby out of wedlock, you're probably freaking the heck out. We remember how stressful it was when we had unexpected children with people we did not want to marry. After spending tens of thousands on legal battles that dragged on for years, eventually we learned the hard way what works and what doesn't in the real world. I'm Jim Braz, co-author of the award-winning book, Baby Out of Wedlock. We help unmarried mothers and fathers get their questions answered, improve co-parenting relationships, and avoid nasty legal battles that cost a fortune. Go to babyoutofwedlock.com to learn more. 
If you have unfiled taxes or are in debt to the IRS, this is important news. The IRS just rolled out a new program to help struggling taxpayers more easily resolve their tax problems. It's called the Taxpayer Relief Initiative, and it opens up powerful new options for people looking to get back on the right track with the IRS. And no one knows this program like the professionals at Optima Tax Relief, America's most trusted tax resolution company. They've resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients and have the expertise and experience to help you. One easy call to Optima can start the process, helping to put an end to your worries of wage garnishment, asset seizure, and other aggressive IRS actions. Make today the beginning of your fresh start with the IRS. Call the experts at Optima Tax Relief now for your free confidential consultation. Call 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Jay Farner here, CEO of Rocket Mortgage and Rocket Companies. Last year, we saw historically low mortgage interest rates. What you may not know is that interest rates are already starting to increase, and it's likely that trend is only going to continue. Our team of experts is standing by to help you save before rates go up. Don't look back and wish that you had taken action. Call 833-8-ROCKET or visit RocketMortgage.com. Rocket. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender licensed in all 50 states and MLS consumer access dot org number 3030. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, online radio box, and simple radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on streamer.com and online radio box.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go. And don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. Dr. Michelle Mandy joining us. Excited to have her here. She's a life coach at Nurses Recommend in Coaching. And we've been talking about her amazing career and experience in nursing. And now the work that she's doing to help people coaching. And uh, really excited to have her here sharing her expert methods of curriculum, training design, research, and all that she does now to help you and to help your facility, you know, have better care is what it all comes down to. So Dr. Michelle Mandy, what else did you want to make sure we cover for today, the people are, are aware that you know we are healthcare providers with with us, and we help patients create and meet their health objectives, usually related to physical and mental well-being. The mental, emotional, and behavioral health of our clients is the main concern. One of our main objectives is encourage people to embrace a positive lifestyle and to accomplish their objectives. They change their behavior and the clients become more conscious and aware of who they are and what they want to do. Great. And now like you're here, like for example, you know, you're doing your conference and how many people are part of your team, by the way? Is it just you as a life coach or how many coaches are there out there? So right now there's two of us. It's myself and Paris Mandy. She's the psych mental health nurse practitioner. So we're both doing the coaching, and she also includes, you know, therapy, actual therapy for PTS and trauma, depression, bipolar, ADHD, um, LGBTQ affirming. Well, let's share some of the client stories. Let's talk about some of the people you're helping and how it works. Yes, so I'll tell you about one, like, uh, I'll say a younger nurse, a nurse in her 20s, got burned out, you know, with the COVID, and she felt that nobody cared. You know, nobody cares. The the hospital doesn't care. Nobody cares. So I don't want to do this anymore. She was actually in the military, and she wanted to get out, and she was... But then I, you know, I started working with her, and I, and I asked her what it is that you really want to do, and in a sense, bring it again to a conscious awareness it's not that she wanted to get out of the nursing and out of the military. It was just all the other drama around it. So I had to get her to the point where to stop being so stressed and full of anger and to focus on what it is you want to do and where you want to go. So I encouraged her to take time um, 
overseas. I said, if you go overseas and in the military, because I do have that experience, I, I know that, you still feel the closeness. She actually did do that. She stayed in. She took that assignment overseas. She went overseas. She got promoted to the next rank in the military, and wow. she is happy. Oh, that's amazing. And she amazing. is happy. It's unbelievable. I'm so proud of her. As you should be. My goodness, that's amazing. And by the way, can I just quickly ask you back to your career now in the Air Force? How did you, you know, as a female, get involved? That's just fascinating to me. When, when, who inspired you to go into the military and then obviously in, in the nursing field? So I was recruited. So as I was recruited in regards to nursing, and they told me about the great travel I could do. So that's what brought me in. And then I was already doing trauma in ER in Detroit at one of the big hospitals called Detroit Receiving. So for me to get over there and get into the trauma and the critical care right away, it was great. But then I, I felt that there was more. And that's when I went on and got my master's in public administration. So I wanted to go up the administration track. So that's what I did. And then I became like a commander over what we call education. And that's where I was, education and readiness. So that's why I learned all of this stuff. And then I became the life coach because when you're in a leadership position, you're responsible for everyone below you. So you must try to coach them to be who they want to be and be better at it. Because otherwise, these folks in the military running them around everywhere, just so confused. So I took the life coaching and wellness coaching and used it in my in the military. Amazing. Well, I love that about you. Clearly, you love the work you're doing. You're helping so many. And um, what else do you think is good to let people know why they need a coach in this field? They really need a coach because people are seeking guidance and they're seeking motivation and they need some support to create the life that they desire. You know, and the coaching services are here to empower that person to be all that they and that's why they need it. No one should be suffering because there is a fine line between therapy and coaching. So, but coaching takes you right here in the present where you are, no matter whatever happened in your past, and help you move forward. So that's the goal. Where you are, doesn't matter how you got here. Now let's move forward. What do you want to do? Let you focus on your life. So that's why they need it. And then if they do have so much in the back in the past, we actually have therapy available for them. So that's where they can actually get the therapy and the medication management is needed, needed for bipolar, depression. It's available. So the full gamut. I love hearing that. Thank you so much. And we still have six more minutes together, Dr. Michelle. What else, um, okay. you know, for our listeners today about... This work and, you know, because like since the pandemic, I feel like nursing really has taken on. I know there's a lack of nurses, right? Could you discuss that? And I feel like there's my state here in New York. They're like recruiting nurses. I see commercials all the time now. But the importance of having qualified nurses, I feel like there's a little bit of a shortage. How is how is what do you see, uh, you know, worldwide, nationwide? Well, believe it or not, here at this conference, we have the chief nurse of United States. So she just showed us that they had a 40% decrease in nursing, 40% following the pandemic. So they're really hurting. So if that's 40% and nationally now we're on a big recruitment and retention um, course. So that's from the United States Public Health, and that's big policy all across the United States. That's what's bringing it down to everybody else. We're trying to start recruiting nurses down in high school levels right now, we're trying to get the word out, nursing, 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 because people have been turning away from it because they feel like no one cares. And the newer generation, they're about quick quick services and done. If I don't get it, then it's not working for me. They want flexibility. So we, we're learning these things from here to bring in more nurses. And that's why another thing that we do when I say about healthcare navigation, helping you advocate through the healthcare system, that's another big problem because, again, the U.S. Public Health Chief Nurse said it's about the equity in care. A lot of people, seniors, for example, they go in to see their doctor and then they face age discrimination. 
you know, the doctor don't realize that they're hard of hearing um, and using such big words. They go in and they come out, and if a family member asks what happened, they say, I don't know. And they really don't. You know, once they they come right on out. So as our healthcare navigating and they're with them, they can understand what the doctor is saying and then also relay that to the person who sits standing right there being exam. This is what's happening. And now this person has these questions, Doc, she wants to have, you know, or he wants to have some some clarity on so they can make a decision in their health care and get the quality health care they need if they need referrals or whatever. And then this information could be related to one of their family members who is helping, you know, helping them with their health care. So that's really needed as well because the services that people are getting today, doctors see them five minutes and that's it. And I'm not sure if you ever experienced, we call it the white coat syndrome. You go into the clinic and now all of a sudden you forgot all the questions that you had. Yep, (laughs) for sure. It happens, right? Yes, that's what happens. So that's, we're there to help with that Advocate in a sense, right? Yes, advocating, advocating for people's quality health care. Oh, beautiful. Well, also, um, my goodness, we are just about out of time in our last few minutes here um, to expand, to reach out to people, to tell them, you know, why getting life coach here is a great thing. So again, nurses recommend and coaching. And if you go to your LinkedIn page, which we didn't talk about, I know that's another a great way to contact you as well. It's Dr. Michelle right. Mandy. That's D-R and then Michelle spelled M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. Mandy's the last name, M-A-N-D-Y. And by the way, when do you return home after this conference? Um, not until July 9th. So oh, wow. I'll, I'll be out for a while, yes. But see, everything is virtual. That's why I can still talk to clients and from wherever I am. Beautiful. And what's on the agenda next when you get home? What do you have coming up in the middle of July? In the middle of July, I have <laughs> a couple of um, different committees and and I'm working with a golf tournament, so I still I'm busy doing other things in addition to taking care of the business. That's it. That's when I'm in July, August. I'll be going to Las Vegas, so another trip. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. This is great. Well, you clearly love what you do. And um, what would you say to someone out there who's looking to get into nursing? Please, you know, don't turn away from nursing. We we, we need you. We're there. We're we're getting better, and we're starting to advocate harder for, you know, self-care, self-care issues in the hospital for nurses. We're we're really pushing it. It's not just for the nurses, but we put doctors as well because they're – they had the numbers, so 45% of them were burning out in medical school. See, it's already happening. We just have to change what we do. And coaching is one way to do it. People just need a safe space to talk. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you again for being here and giving people that safe space. Uh, one more time, tell us the, the phone number, how we can contact you. That's right. So nurses recommend we have the number 62340 five zero three zero or two one zero eight eight zero one two nine zero and the web page is on your palace you will see it there and you can get our information from that that page if you want to all right well thank you so much you have a great day enjoy the rest of your conference and thank you for doing what you do for all those in healthcare. we appreciate your all time right. All Thank right. you. Gail. Have a great day. And to all of our listeners, stay okay. tuned. Thank you. We'll be right back with more. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey, Dad, how do airplanes fly? What's in this box? Can I touch this? Where does sand come from? Is this tree good for climbing? What happens if I mix these two things together? How are babies made? What does this thing do? Kids are curious about everything, including guns. Talking to them about gun safety in your home is a good first step, but you can do more. Always keep your guns locked, unloaded, and stored separately from ammunition. Storing your guns securely is the best way to prevent family fire, including unintentional shootings. For more information on safe gun storage and ways to keep your family safe, visit endfamilyfire.org. 
That's endfamilyfire.org. What do we keep in the attic? What's this thing called? Can I ride my bike backwards? Like I said, kids are curious. It's up to us to keep them safe. Brought to you by End Family Fire, Brady, and the Ad Council.